Okay, here goes my final test that I'd make a video of it. I have tested why some rooms are showing moderated, like like this one, for example. Um, I was testing uh, first when you can, a user, not an admin, can edit a, a picture or topic. And uh, we ran across this moderated in the options. And we sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. This one shows it. Let me show you one that not moderated. Okay. Interesting. So um, I'm doing some tests and I created a P2P room, meaning uh, I created a Skype room in a um, what version did I do this in? In an older Skype, it was 5.3. Um, just did that here in December 2014. I do know how to do that if you need it. There are some major benefits for creating Skype rooms in um, older versions of Skype. And with P2P rooms, you have a lot more control. For example, you cannot use this command in a cloud-based room created in new Skype. Um, I'm going to set the options for this room as um, topic and picture locked and um, I'm going to show you what happens. So you can click on the room profile, uh, sorry the room topic or the picture um, to bring up the profile now. That's new. That's nice. And um, to get the join link, anyway I don't want to get sidetracked but um, I'm looking to see if joining is enabled causes the moderating or if topic and picture locked is causing whether the room is moderated or not, which means you have more control. So I'm going to um, go ahead and enter this command and s check the options again. It didn't even accept it. Hmm, let me try it again. Well, it appears that you cannot even use that command in current version of Skype, even if you are the owner of a Skype room, and you create even if you created it in, in um, an old version of Skype. So I'm going to do a search for my new P2P room, uh, this one, and oh, isn't it interesting? You can actually see. Um, in, in this version of Skype, you can actually see old version of Skype. You can see the pictures now of the Skype rooms. In P2P rooms, you can't see that. In um, the default view of, not the simple view of uh, current Skype, um, you can't see them. That's why you're seeing those light blue <laughs> logos with three white heads are the Skype group chat rooms. Um, anyway, okay, so we're in the P2P room, and um, I'm in the the Skype account that created it, so we're going to have to re-enter all of those commands to set it all up, but let's, let's just try set topics, set options, plus topic and picture lock for users. Now we're going to get the options. Ta-da! So that failed in um, Skype 7, that command failed even though I was the creator of this, of this Skype room. And um, so now the thing is to log back into current Skype, either 6.2 or 7, and um, test the profile to see if it says moderated now that we have the um, option set for topic and picture locked for users. Will it say moderated? Let's find out. Well that's logging in. I also want to show you that this is now, this confusion is now gone. There used to be two places for the topic and people can rename or edit the name of a topic for themselves. Okay, but to change it as, as an administrator to change it, you'd have to do it here um, so that everyone would see the, the new name of the room or topic of the room. 
So that's no longer gone in, in current Skype. So we'll, we'll bring up current Skype, seven, yep. And we'll do that search for the, P, the new P2P room I just made for these tests. Okay, and um, again, I'm gonna sidetrack a little bit and show you that there is only one place to change the topic now whether you're the creator, uh, administrator, moderator, or user, um, creators and administrators in current Skype are the same. You don't have more control if you created the room. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> That's a disadvantage of the cloud rooms, cloud-based rooms created in new Skype. Anyway, um, this is, you're not able to change, uh, a user is not able to change. I'm clicking on the topic in the profile. I open the profile by clicking on the topic and it's not possible to change the topic here. But um, I'll have to show you that in another video. <laughs> if I, I'm still in old Skype with this one, um, I suppose I can log out and show you. Let me pause. And you'll notice it always tells you the, give you, giving you the latest version, even if you're just using my technique of logging into whatever version you want. And you can, <laughs> you have the latest and the oldest versions. Anyway, so I'm searching for this room again. Okay, so this is the creator. Um, clicking on the room topic. Let me make that bigger. I don't know if I can make that smaller. Um, I'm clicking on the room topic to open the profile. And uh, joining is enabled, history isn't. Um, so if that, that's another thing to test if we don't get that moderated. Um, but one of the things that you want to see is that uh, as an administrator, um, I can still edit the topic. Um, users are able to edit the topic if you don't um, set it up correctly, set it up, set up your Skype rooms enough. And so you don't want them to be able to change the picture or the topic, uh, just like in this user has no link to change the picture or the topic. This is a user, not, not this account. So um, let's test my, see if we can get moderated. Where should I put that? The moderated to show up in the options. Slash get options. Moderated. Ta-da! So it's picture and topic locked for users. That command causes that, but you cannot get that full control, have a room be considered moderated, unless you've built the room in an old version of Skype, which would make it a P2P, peer-to-peer uh, -peer based, the old fashioned type of Skype room instead of the cloud-based Skype room. So that's what did it, that's what made the difference. Now let's uh, bring up the user, right? We do git roll here. This is the user, and the user is going to get the options. Can still do that. It's moderated, okay? And it doesn't show picture and topic log for users. Instead, it's showing moderated. I think that's a long enough video for now. <laughs> See you on Skype. <laughs> Bye for now.